Sewage is seeping into a mountain creek, and tonight, environmental authorities are asking people to avoid it. News 13's Rex Hodge is in our Western News Center. And Rex, which creek is it, and are residents at risk? It's Long Creek near Robbinsville's wastewater treatment plant. It does not appear the public water supply is affected, but fecal coliform readings exceed safe levels. North Carolina's Environment and Natural Resources Department sampled this water last week in Long Creek, right next to Robbinsville's water treatment plant. The findings show levels of fecal coliform high enough for disease-causing bacteria, and therefore officials are encouraging people to avoid contact with the water here. No drinking, swimming, or fishing. And I used to go fishing, but, the, but ever since they started, I ain't been fishing there ever since. Colby Jones lives beside the creek and has been aware of issues with the treatment plant for years. All your smells and that stuff happens. The state says a malfunction at the treatment plant is responsible for partially treated wastewater making its way into Long Creek. Robbinsville's mayor says the first 80 yards of the creek near the discharge point are affected. We had a high fecal reading from a water plant he says is falling apart. Right now we are using bicycle inner tubes to fix it back. The, the, the metal is so thin on it. Bobby Smith says former town leaders since this facility was built in 1987 didn't provide enough maintenance, leaving current leaders a mess to fix. It's something they should have been looking at 20 years ago uh, that, with the shape it was in. We're not going to try to cover for nobody. I mean, that, that's just a fact. Alderman Jackie Ayers says a new, bigger, and safer water treatment plant is about to go online in about two months. The old to be torn down. The tank and everything's going to be gone. And clean water for Colby Jones. And been able to go fishing and eat some fish. And Robbinsville's mayor says the new water treatment facility has been delayed getting online because of all the rain we've been having. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.